Um, my name's Kate Fletcher. Um, I'm um, from the UK. I've been working in fashion and sustainability for about 20 years. Um, I've worked with large companies, big retailers, small non-for-profit organisations and then also in universities, really trying to push the agenda to do with fashion and sustainability forward, largely using design thinking to do that. You were describing um, the road to sustainability as a journey. Mm. What is the most um, common starting point? Um, the most common starting point on the, the road to, to sustainability is, without doubt, um, a focus on materials. People begin with something that's tangible, concrete, that they can physically touch and feel. And the impacts of that also feel more concrete and tangible as a result. It also, of course, materials touch on the big issues of our time, climate change, ideas like peak oil, uh, overflowing landfill sites that we certainly have in the UK. These are all tied intimately to our use of materials. And so it's really understandable that most people's journey towards sustainability start there. But it's imperative that it doesn't just end there, that it keeps going and then begins to look right across the life cycle and then also think about business models and systems change. You started out by saying that it's important to ask the right questions. What kind of questions is it important to ask? I think it's really essential that people start asking questions simply about what's this made from, who made it, where was it made, what source material, what are the chemicals used, what are its technical qualities, can alternatives exist, do they exist, can you access them? Simple questions about what this material is and whether an alternative exists really puts the onus on suppliers. The emphasis goes away from you being the person who's trying to make a change to them being the person, you're their client, they're trying to please you and they then uh, begin to make a shift and I think that's really, really important. You also say that everybody's got a stake in this somehow. Can you descri describe that? Um, I suppose when you think about sustainability, it's a real sense of extended responsibility. We're very used to being perhaps responsible for ourselves, maybe our families, in quite a nuclear way. In our jobs, maybe that extends a little further. But sustainability really promotes an extended responsibility that's far beyond even a company or an industry because these issues stretch beyond that. They're not discipline specific or sector specific. They bridge them all. And so it really takes a different sort of thinking. It's, um, it's not based on I, it's based on we. Um, and that's essential, but that takes time.